Well, a father of seven is asking Coloradans to give blood after blood donations saved his life. Jacob Adamo is suffering from liver and kidney failure. Melissa Garcia is live at the University of Colorado Hospital. And Melissa, the family of nine is hoping Jacob pulls through. Kathy, that's correct. He's undergone four surgeries here in the last six days and needs a liver transplant. And his wife says without a major blood transfusion, he already would have died. It's been pretty scary. Tubes and cords hang from the bed where 36-year-old Jacob Adamo lies near death. The once healthy father of seven suddenly became ill and found out his kidneys and liver are failing him. While waiting for a transplant, his kids play outside of UC Health. It's been really hard for them. A tough time made harder by life-threatening blood loss during surgery. When they were doing the exploratory surgery, he actually received 25 units of blood during that surgery, and they removed four liters of blood and fluid from his abdomen. Now, not for him, but for others in need. Jacob's wife, Sarah, is asking Coloradans to donate. So I'm really just asking that people would just go out and donate so that we can increase our supply at our blood banks. She's grateful blood was there for him. The two-time book author and corporate communication trainer doesn't just support his kids financially. He's also a big part of their everyday lives. So we homeschool, and um, we're both involved in our children's education. So it, it's very, very important that he stick around. Here in the Denver metro area, there are several places where you can donate blood. We'll have that info at cbsdenver.com. We're live in Aurora. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Melissa.